And I will say this, I think it's very, very important to center the voices of the most marginalized folks and not in terms of tokenism, like don't be like, oh, by the way, not, not like that. But I think we need to follow their lead more. Right? I think that that's an issue. Like if they say, this is what needs to happen in our organization, because this is what I'm hearing from young people, and this is how I feel, and this is a challenge, and that is a challenge. Let's listen to them. <laughs> and then let's ask them, OK, are you comfortable? Because here's the other thing. Just because we speak up doesn't mean we want the extra job of doing the work. So then you ask them, do you want to lead this work, or should we give this to someone else? You see, it's simple stuff like that that we don't think of doing. It doesn't always have to be some theoretical uh, theory of change type construct. Like, again, when I first got on the stage, I said, folks of color have been telling you all the stuff that I'm saying right now. You're just listening to me because I have a platform and a PhD. But they've been saying the same stuff. So think about how far along our organizations could have been had you just listened to the black woman in the first place. <laughs> 